Good morning and welcome to the Feeding House Ministries, a teaching ministry. We thank you for joining us in this wonderful, beautiful, blessed Sunday morning. Today we're going to talk about a zealous supporter of a particular cause. To have confidence in the truth, the existence or the reliability of something. Someone who has a strong opinion that something is right or good. We're going to talk about the believer. Mm -hmm. All of us who profess to be God's child should be that true believer. <clears throat> to a true believer of God. The invisible bond that unites all believers to Christ is far more tender and lasting and precious. And we all come to realize and recognize that we are dwelling in one sphere in life in Him. Yes. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds to a true believer's ear. It soothes his sorrow. It heals his wounds and drives away his fears. A spiritual gift is a supernaturally designed ability granted to every true believer by which the Holy Spirit ministers to the body of Christ. A spiritual gift cannot be earned, pursued, or worked up. It's merely received through the grace of God. Amen. Unless self-love is abandoned, the believer shall forever shrink back when called actually to take up the cross of Christ. Yes. And to take with us this week, God has given the true believer the responsibility of spreading the gospel to all the world. And we need to use all at our disposal to accomplish this task. Yes. To credit upon the authority or testimony of another. To be persuaded of the truth of something upon the declaration of another or upon evidence furnished by reason, arguments, or deductions of the mind or by other circumstances than personal knowledge. When we believe upon the authority of another, mm. we always put confidence in their veracity. Mm. We can all probably define what a believer is. I imagine if we each wrote a definition and described what a believer actually is, we would get a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. But I also imagine we would also get a lot of variation as well. We get words like faithfulness and trust and obedience. If I ask you for an example of someone who is a true believer, we would probably get the names like Paul and Abraham. We might be referred to Hebrews 11 for a whole list of believers. But if I ask for a contemporary example of a believer, who would you select? Mm -hmm. Would someone else think of you? Mm -hmm. Our goal ought to be to become good examples of what a life of belief is actually all about. Jesus. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, Paul gave some important thoughts on the matter to consider. He tells us of the first century church in Thessalonica had its share of first-rate examples of what it means to believe in God. This description well describes what each of us ought to be, and there is no good reason to settle for less. Far too many people settle for less. There are many who profess belief, Yes. but far fewer good examples of what it means to believe. Mm. To settle for less is inexcusable. Yes. Believers are marked by Christ-like living. 
Paul offers a strategy to help live for God day by day. One, imitate Christ's merciful, forgiving attitude. Two, let love guide your life. Three, let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Yes. Four, always be thankful. Five, keep God's word in you at all times. And six, live as Jesus Christ's representative. Amen. Doing something as a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ means bringing honor to Christ in every aspect and activity of our daily living. As a true Christian, you represent Christ at all times, wherever you go and whatever you say. Amen. What impression do people have of Christ when they see or talk to you? What changes would you make in your life? to honor Christ. Believers shouldn't always expect a safe life. Remember Satan attacked Job's motives, saying that Job was blameless and upright only because he had no reason to turn against God. Ever since he had started following God, everything had gone well for Job. Satan wanted to prove that Job worshiped God, not out of love, but because God had given him so much. Mm -hmm. Satan actually analyzed many people, people's trust in God. They are fair weather believers, mm -hmm. following God only when God is give, when everything is going well or for what they can get out of him. Yeah. Adversity destroys superficial faith, mm -hmm. but adversity strengthens real faith mm -hmm. by causing true believers to dig their roots deeper into God in order to understand and withstand the storms. Yes. Do your roots of faith go deep? Yes. And how much do you believe? Mm -hmm. Put your roots of faith uh, you put your roots of faith down deep into God yes. and believe in his son Jesus Christ so that you can withstand the storms you may face. Amen. Amen.